Have you ever heard people in crypto talk about coins and tokens as if they are the same thing? At first it might sound confusing because both are digital assets, but there is actually a clear difference between them. In this video I'll break it down in the simplest way possible so you'll never confuse a coin with a token again. Let's start with coins. A coin is a type of cryptocurrency that operates on its own blockchain. Think of Bitcoin, Ethereum or Litecoin. Each of these has its own independent network that records and verifies transactions. When you send Bitcoin to someone, the Bitcoin blockchain records it. When you use Ethereum, the Ethereum blockchain records it. Coins are basically the native digital currencies of their own blockchains. They are often used as money, a store of value or for paying transaction fees on their network. For example, Bitcoin's primary purpose is to act as digital money and a store of value, something people sometimes call digital gold. Ethereum, on the other hand, is a bit more complex because its coin ETH is used to pay for transactions and also to power applications that run on the Ethereum blockchain. But in both cases, we're talking about native assets that belong directly to their own blockchains. Now, what about tokens? Tokens don't have their own blockchain. Instead, they are built on top of an existing blockchain. Most tokens today are created on Ethereum using standards like ERC20. This makes it easy for developers to launch their own digital assets without building an entirely new blockchain from scratch. Tokens are like passengers traveling on a bus, the bus is the blockchain and the tokens are along for the ride. Tokens can serve many purposes. Some represent assets, like stable coins that are tied to the value of the US dollar. Others are utility tokens, which give you access to a product or service within a project's ecosystem. For example, using a token to pay for fees or features on a decentralized application. There are also governance tokens, which let holders vote on decisions about how a project is run. And of course there are tokens that represent unique assets, like NFTs, which stand for non-fungible tokens. The easiest way to remember the difference is this. If a digital asset is the native currency of its own blockchain, it's a coin. If it's built on top of another blockchain, it's a token. Bitcoin is a coin. Ether is a coin. But something like Uniswap's UniToken or Chainlink's Link token, those are tokens because they are built on top of Ethereum's blockchain. Why does this distinction matter? Because coins and tokens often serve different roles in the crypto world. Coins are usually about transferring and storing value, like digital money. Tokens, on the other hand, are more flexible and can be programmed for specific uses in decentralized applications. Together, they make up the foundation of the crypto ecosystem. To put it simply, coins are like the base currency of a country, dollars, euros, yen. Tokens are more like coupons, tickets or membership cards that run on top of that base system. Both are valuable, but they serve different purposes. As you dive deeper into crypto, you'll hear about thousands of different projects and knowing whether you're dealing with a coin or a token helps you understand how that project fits into the bigger picture. Is it trying to be money on its own blockchain? Or is it building a new product or service on top of another network? That's the key question to ask. And now you know the difference between a coin and a token. Coins run on their own blockchains, tokens run on someone else's. Coins are like the foundation, tokens are the layers built on top. It's simple once you think about it that way. If you found this explanation helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more easy crypto breakdowns. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.